Hi, this is question five of the worksheet on histograms and you'll be able to go through to the link below this video and download and have a go at these questions for yourself. So when you're dealing with histograms, the main thing you need to remember, uh, and I think it's really good, is to always write down the formula that you need to be aware of, which is frequency density equals frequency divided by class width and that will help you to answer most of the questions that you're going to get on histograms. There is also a cheat sheet that you can have a look at as well as part of this playlist. Okay, so the first thing is we've been given some information on a table and it's going to ask us to plot the histogram. Well, um, I've got the class width which is absolutely fine and that's the bit that goes at the bottom uh, the um, horizontal axis of a histogram. But I do need, however, the frequency density. It's this bit here which goes on the vertical axis. So the first thing is I'm going to calculate the frequency density. Well, that's relatively straightforward because I know the frequency it's being given to me here. And I know the class width, which is the difference between, in this case, zero and a half. So the frequency density for the first line is going to be eight divided by a half and that's going to give me a frequency density of 16. Okay, next one is going to be uh, 7 divided by a quarter and I wouldn't get so concerned that you've got fractions to deal with. It's perfectly legitimate to have um, fractions as part of a class width so you can work with those just as effectively as you can work with whole numbers. OK, and the final one is 9 divided by 2, which equals 4.5. And then really it's just a case of plotting that information onto the graph as we have below. So the first one, and you might have to uh, have a look at the, uh, the worksheet itself just to remember the numbers. But the first one is we've got a, frequent, um, a class width of a half. OK, the next one we've also got a half. Then we've also got uh, a class width of 1. I'm taking the information from the charts that we looked at a minute ago. And then finally, I've got a class width of 2. And then it's a case, really, of just plotting the frequency density on the left-hand side. So um, one of the things about these is that, generally speaking, they do make it relatively straightforward to be able to kind of work out where you need the different um, uh, frequency densities on the left hand side. They always leave the axis blank and it's entirely up to you to fill that out. Now it's a little bit rough and ready on this particular one just because I'm conscious of the of the time on the video. Um, but what you'll find when you finish plotting this is you'll get something that looks like this and hopefully you'll be able to see from this that I've been able to plot something that looks like a histogram and actually this will give you then the completion of this particular question. Um, now very typically they might ask you then for a little bit more information but this particular question is relatively straightforward for three marks. Um, I hope it's been okay for you. Um, please do have a look at the website you'll be able to download the rest of the questions and I look forward to seeing you inside the next video.